Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in with Sayer God's Wisdom, your spiritual guru Athena for the Cancer Full Moon on 1229 or 1230, give or take what part of the world you in at this moment in time. It's going to be at 9 degrees of Cancer. So I'm calling this a wrapping up, a completion of the uh, two years of the North and South No being the Cancer in Capricorn. So it's like a completion because, you know, full moons are reapings. They are completions. The moon is full. You can see the moon in the night sky. So it's a completion. You're able to see at night. You're able to see in the subconscious mind. Everything the moon rules. You're able to uh, complete and see. Or if not a completion, awareness. But I'm picking a very strong without a completion energy because it's in the sign of the crab and cancer deal with shielding itself, protection, the mother, your feminine side. But also since the sun is a Capricorn, I'm hearing and picking up on a lot of father energy is being completed and worked through as well. Uh, along with, uh, as long with this, along with this um cancer mother energy as well. Okay, check out my wisdom talk episode. Um, 13 about the full moon energies i'm gonna touch on a little bit because a lot more has come up came up since i filmed that video to this video now uh i just want to say thank you all for being in my life and that the ones that i'm about to get ready to cut off god be with you i wish you nothing but the best uh thank you for playing that part that role in my journey it's time for me to close that chapter with you and i will be moving on to um better and high vibe uh energy i understand we got to have a low i get that balance but it's like so many toxic people gotta go you just they just they, they're just toxic there's no breakdown you can't really i can't even say it, fully explain it but it's just like people have been so not draining just toxic just nasty and it's not even a nice nasty just upright rude and um, uh, not genuine and just, I just, I got to cut people off. I know this coming up for my journey. A couple other, uh, clients that I've been, uh, constantly talking to, they haven't do the same thing in their life spirit and their team is pushing them too, but it's coming apart for me because it's like enough is enough. Venus is squaring Neptune. Uh, Chiron is uh, squaring the sun and the moon in this mix. Uh, Mars just came up with his final square with Pluto. And all the Capricorn stellium now he's moving into Taurus about to conjunct the first villain Uranus of the Zodiac and Dark Mother Lilith all in Taurus so it's a lot of and we're gonna feel it because Mars is the person playing it so it's all about of uh, us not backing down standing our ground standing up for our values standing up for our um rights what we believe in you know Lilith does deal with fear. The dark mother does deal with fear. So some fear could be coming up around, again, finances, money, um, and your self-worth and um, not being good enough. You know, Lilith uh, energy doesn't feel good enough. So it, it plays out into our relationships with other people, that dark mother energy. That's why I love working on dark mother energy and uh, my clients later chart to help them come aware of that dark side and the side of them, the side of them they fear. Because uh, Lilith energy also deals with the divine feminine within us, okay? As on, as, along with the moon, okay? Thank y'all for being patient. Again, thank y'all for being here with me. But yes, I had to uh, throw it out there that I would be cutting some people off. Don't be shocked if you might be one of them. But I can't take this toxic energy. Uh, going into um, 2021 is, is, and then the squares the universe is pushing us to do it so it's not really nothing personal you just have to exit you, this, this the bus stop okay it's the bus stop for some people and that plays out in a lot of people's lives like I said a lot of my clients been uh, saying the same thing this is the bus stop uh, and then the universe is pushing us so it really is we have no choice but to let some people go and I'm okay with that I had a powerful ascension journey where I had to leave Job, old jobs, old businesses, like old things I had to release, I'm used to release, and it's not a problem for me. It just hurt because it's like I let people get close. I have, uh, I vibrate in the heart energy. My, I had Jupiter in the uh, fourth house in Libra. So just to throw that out there for my astrology people, if you catch on to that. So, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's enough. Time is time out for all that. It's time for us to protect our home, body, and our uh, mother and father energy within us, that Capricorn Cancer axis. Like I say, thank y'all for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel. 
and um yeah let me know how these energies are working out for y'all how is post um the uh great conjunction energy working out where is that jupiter your uh saturn energy squaring uranus uh and taurus energy and neutral like uranus is going through a lot a lot of squares the whole 2021 um uranus will be squaring um saturn and aquarius so this is going to be a big change around again money and the government restrictions okay Saturn still rules the government, even though he's not in Capricorn anymore. He's moving into Aquarius. It's still gonna be a lot of uh, restrictions being put out there for different cities and uh, certain local areas. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the tarot and um, the oracle messages, y'all, and the self-care tips. You know, I'll start with the self-care tips. And then, like I said, this is the last video tarot reading of the year. Um. If you like the way I read, book a session with me. The links will be in the description box below. Uh, but this is the last video. While we'll have the self-care tips, I'm going to go, I'm starting next year. Well, next week. <laughs> uh, I will be doing separate videos for the self-care tips weekly. Uh, I'm expanding my uh, business. I'm getting my website together. I'm getting other things for my uh, spiritual shop together with items and things. So you see, I'm working on myself, expanding. I'm starting my apprenticeship in the summer. I'm, yeah, I got a uh, good, good couple people, good four students that I really like that uh, want to do my um, apprenticeship during the summer. But I have to get um, myself together on the business side. So. Uh, in spirit let's see thank you divine mother divine father god souls angels spirit guys give me insight for the elements of the zodiac spirit what self-care tips does the water sign we'll start with the water always the water ladies we'll start with the water the water all uh, signs need that is cancer scorpio pisces spirit self-care tips for cancer scorpio and pisces spirit cancer scorpio and pisces spirit Self-care tips. Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. Water signs, okay. Water signs, water signs. Write a gratitude list. That's going to be kind of big for water sign people. Because they so used to feeling, they so used to being emotional or not in tune with their emotions. So writing this gratitude list will help you balance those emotions and those and their thinking, balancing the head and the heart, because water signs really do feel deeply, and it could be you know with the heart or lower base chakra energy. So tap into um, the mind, getting intellectual with your energies and understanding them uh, with a mental perspective. Okay, water signs that was spirit is saying for y'all to tap into. And really tap into the energy of sensing. The water sign is sensing. So sensing what emotions, feelings, now thoughts. Write a gratitude list. What are you grateful for for this year? You know, really get into that. Chronic, we got to drink tea. So drink tea is chronic for the water signs. All for my water signs. Stellian people that have uh, a lot of water in their natal chart. If you don't know what a natal chart is, please Google it. Or book a session with me. Thank you. Okay, drink tea, detox, get the body together. So I'm hearing for the water signs, it's like spirit wants you to get your mind, your body, your emotional feel. It's just like everything becoming whole for the water signs. I'm feeling a lot of completion energy with the water sign people, the water sign tribe, okay? A lot of completion. So spirit really wants you to tap into your grateful energy, your gratitude energy, okay? Next up, fire signs, that is Aries. Leo, Sagittarius spirit, give us some self-care tips for the fire sign, sun, moon, and rising, and the uh, fire sign, Stellium. Okay, now this is good for the fire, sound healing, getting into the music, getting into listening, sensing through listening, water signs sense through feeling, fire signs sense through listening. Fire sign is a masculine energy. So it deals with like being outside. Leo, Sage, Aries, like get out there and um, get silent with yourself but listen to nature. Get silent with yourself and listen to sounds, what nature is saying to you. 
get you a good singing bowl. Go sit outside and bring your singing bowl. Connect with your the energy of sound and healing through the vibrations of what are you hearing. Okay, that's beautiful. I like that energy. Oh, also six. Some of my sound people. <laughs> some of my sound people. Uh, some six. Okay. I understand this. I just had me some. So I understand. I understand. Y'all know I'll be transparent. So, yes. So, you know, I'm a uh, Sagittarius. So I have a Sagittarius stellium. But, um, yes. Get into some sex energy. So, sound healing and sex. So, that sound healing, especially after sex, will really get that other person energy um, off you. If um, the energy not right. Or just get your energy back in tune with yourself. We're not going to say you sleep with a low vibration of person. We're just going to say, get your energy back in tune with yourself after sex, okay? And also, that sexual, sexual energy would be real good for the, I know, for the Sagittarius. Because that mutable fire uh, really help transmute and burn off old, stale energies. When you're really um, having a good rapport with a person you're having sex with for my uh, Sagittarians out there. Okay, air sign spirit. That is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Spirit. What self-care tips you have for the air signs there? What do they need to know for the closing out of this year of 2020, Spirit? The air signs. Gemini. Oh, okay. I'm going to flew right on. Okay. Soak in a bath, air signs. So, again, they want the water signs to connect to mental energy, air energy. And they want the air signs to connect to water energy. So, making a beautiful spiritual bath, a sacred bath. Um, you know, working with your herbs, your essential oils, your different Florida waters, your uh, tobacco water right, right here. I sell this too in my spiritual shop in, in the local Baton Rouge area. Come see me. I'm, that's why I'm next. Is I'm trying to get everything online too so I can, can be shipping out of um you know state and local uh different cities and stuff so that's coming soon y'all my i know because a lot i got a lot of clients they don't stay in Baton Rouge. so i appreciate y'all thank y'all so much for uh y'all support in y'all business with me thank you thank you thank you uh but yeah back to air signs so air signs really connect and i'm hearing the air signs have been doing a lot of work spiritual work so i want to congratulate the air signs for doing a lot of spiritual work and staying on path, staying on track. Um, spirit, your spirit guys, for some of the air signs out there, they're really cheering for y'all. And what's crowning we have, clean your space. So, like, after you clean your space, air signs, really get out there and um, get back in there <laughs> and do a, a spiritual bath and cleanse off that uh, sweat, get off that the old energy. So, clearing your space and taking a spiritual bath. So soaking in that good, beautiful prana, that good, beautiful energy of the water, okay? Next up, earth signs. Earth signs, sun, moon, and rising spirit. Give us insight for the earth signs. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, spirit, thank you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, self-care tips for the final video of the year spirit closing out 2020 what final messages of the year you have for the earth signs okay a long time earth signs it's a time to be by yourself it's a time to um really get in tune with um going back to the fire really getting in tune with um your hearing the hearing abilities i don't know if it's clear audience or clear on Claire, something dealing with the sound, uh, the psychic ability to hear vibrations and sound. Because I know Sagittarius energy allows you to see through sound. So, like how this vibrating, you see the vibration in this car, Sagittarius, most Sagittarius are developed their psychic abilities can see that. That, that energy, the aura energy, that things are vibe, this, the, the energy of vibrations. I know I have, as a young child, I was able to, because I had my son conjunct the North Node, so I was able to see a lot of stuff as a child. But um yeah. This is this is beautiful. Earth signs. We got alone time 
and you got dream journals so again writing so going outside writing being by yourself lighting some fire lighting your favorite instinct getting really in tune with yourself earth signs that's virgo taurus capricorn or if you have a stellium of earth in your chart sun moon or rising really get into um enjoying some me time by yourself so you're saying be vulnerable with yourself. I know it can be hard for Earth signs to re really be vulnerable, especially um, feeling their feelings, what they've been through in life can be kind of scary or traumatic for some Earth sign people. They really don't like to talk about what they go through. So it's a good time right now for Spirit pushing you to write it out, to feel it and transmute it and let it come out, Earth signs, okay? Thank y'all for tuning in for the self-care tips. I hope this helped you along your journey to close out the year of 2020. Let's get into the tarot and the oracle messages. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to start doing these weekly starting um, in the new year. Self-care tips. Thank y'all for y'all suggestions, the ones that left it in the comments. I appreciate you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel. Okay, spirit. Okay. Let's see. Let me pull the oracle first. Spirit, give us insight for the collective for this full moon and cancer. This close out, completion, and download of the energies from the past two years, the eclipses. Okay. Trust what you're going through. You don't like it, strategize and get out this situation. I don't know who that's for, but Spirit said, see it from this card I just saw. Trust your situation, trust your higher self, trust that your spirit team got you going through what you're going through for a certain reason. Cry, go through it, feel it. Yeah, it may be tough, but use your head, strategize, and get out of it. Get out of that mess, get out of that drama, and fix your life to the life you want it to be. Channel your willpower, channel your spirit team, channel your ancestors, channel your high self. Get out of that toxic situation for whoever that is for. Thank you, spirit. Okay, spirit, let's see. The collective energy to pass. What is the collective leaving behind from this cancer full moon? This cancer full moon on December the 30th, spirit. December the 30th. Cards, the past situation of the collective, what is the majority of the people, okay, leaving behind spirit, thank you so much, angels, archangels, ascending masters, gods, goddesses, God, so. give me insight, okay, 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 I'm seeing a lot of people being matured, they're coming from the past energy of being maturing, uh, getting matured through this year like everybody is like grew a lot I'm gonna say yeah that's what spirit telling me a lot of people have grown a lot this year and this year really pushed a lot of people to step up in ways they never did before so yeah I got a lot of green a lot of teal yeah a lot of growth green deal with growth also um, money coming into some money conflicts with money issues with money come on, dude, got mad. come on they sure do got mask on. Oh, she made these cards. Cute. Okay, um. So yeah, we got the page of pentacles. We got the five of wands. And then we got the death at the bottom. And then we got the page of wands crowning it. So um, we're dealing with again some young energy, some immature people had that had to grow up quick. A lot of you got a lot some of you may have got a lot of opinions from other people you may have to deal with a lot of other people you didn't like it's i'm seeing a lot of forced transformations from this year from the past we'll be leaving behind with this completion of this camp the full moon is doing a lot of again death death is leaving because all these things are black on so death releasing endings i'm hearing the word in spirit is pushing the word endings very loud ending something ending an old group of friends ending a whole old group of uh, people that were just so opinionated, so negative, so toxic, okay? 
also um, also ending the toxic energy within you. I'm seeing a lot of people being by themselves. One person called three calls with people by themselves. I'm seeing a lot of people being by themselves and really realizing like, hey, I'm a fucked up individual. Hey, I got issues. Hey, I got problems in this way. Guess what? That's okay. I'm going to deal with it. I'm working myself and fix it. Now, that's a light person. That's an awakened person. That's a aware person. You then you got the other side of people that just love being toxic. Hey, that's the separation from the 3D to 5D that's happening. That still continue to happen right now with the energies in the collective that some people just don't want to grow. Some people just don't want to do the work. So there will, again, force transformations come in at. But you only can force the soul so much until that soul is really ready to transform, to to grow, to push forward, okay? But uh, this is some very big stagnant energy that's being released. Some very, whoever these people are, very, very immature. And you have to grow this year. This year taught you a lot of lessons. And a lot of lessons around money. A lot of lessons around money. A lot of lessons around money. I don't know who had to go through some tough situations where people just kept telling you what to do with your money. And now you just like, you, now you finally getting the balls, the courage to stand up to those people and say enough is enough. You can't tell me what to do. Uh, with my money or how to use my money i'm seeing i'm seeing that very loudly spirit give me a present situation with people and the collective is currently dealing with no, I can't, I can't but the collective is currently dealing with spirit give me insight with the picture the big picture keep going spirit okay okay Waiting for their right soulmate to come in. Oh, wow. I'm seeing. Oh, then we got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. We got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom right now for the present situation. So it's like people are like feeling insane and writing and doing all this work. It's like, God, I did all this work. Spirit team ancestors, I did all this work. And where is my man? Where is my woman? Where is my soulmate? You made me do all this work. I did all this work. I work my tail off doing physical work, soul work, emotional work, mental health work, serving, helping others, balancing my energies, and I have not got no reward. All I got has been more work, more loneliness, more, more, more of suffering, more, more, more of healing things you thought you have already healed. This is a very, a lot of this, a lot of green, a lot of teal. Oh, spirit is saying needed growth, needed growth. That's what. Okay, okay. So this year was all about that needed growth. You need to, you needed to face. You needed to go through these hardships. You needed to be around these toxic people. You needed to go through these obstacles so you can become that king or queen you need to be in the upcoming year. Because again, the squares of this year. With this Aquarius energy and then this Uranus energy is going to push people in ways of like, I got to make it, I got to get it, no matter how, how or what I have to do. Like, we being pushed, because Aquarius energy is the collective, the collective is being pushed hard to continue this deep growth. Continue this deep growth. And this growth deal with, again, Aquarius energy, Uranus, Uranus and Taurus. So, again, around money. Making money. How one makes money. So, it's a lot of entrepreneurs trying to start things. I'm seeing deep connections trying to start. I'm seeing a lot of energy and things trying to start. But you, it's like some people starting things, starting relationships, starting this partnership, this business, this new job, and it all it, it's like you can't keep a job. It's like I'm, I did this job, I thought this was the job for me, and then I get on the job, and it's so much t turmoil, so much confusion, so much of like I'm hearing the word bully, bully energy, like toxic. Just talk, every, it's like everywhere you turn is something obstacles and toxic energy, obstacles and toxic, toxic energy. Okay. And I know some, a lot of people are tired of dealing with that. It's like, you know, God, why you keep putting us through all this? And, hold on, y'all, take a sip. It's like, God, you putting us through all this stuff. 
just to pile us up with more stuff. God, you keep sending me these toxic men or these toxic relationships and I'm doing all this work. It's like, is something that wrong with me that I keep attracting these toxic relationships? But again, most likely it's past life karma or unfinished karma that you had to face this lifetime from your past life. So it's really good whoever is going through this need to get into astrology while you keep attracting these toxic partners. Because something in you is in unhealed around either your mother energy, your ancestors and the females in your bloodline. We're dealing with these type of men or your father energy that you haven't healed or dealt with. Because men attract women like their mom. And that's good or bad, either healthy or unhealthy, toxic relationships. All um, females um, pull in men that are are, are not like they dad, okay? So it's, it's all that the, you pull these relationships in, even some friendships, you pull these energies in to show you, to mirror to you, hey, I don't like this. If you don't like this, learn from this lesson, grow from it, and pull in and accept what you like. So it really is, I'm hearing the word discernment. Spirit is telling me to tell y'all have a spirit of discernment when certain people try to enter your life. Friendship, business, partnerships, love relationships, anything. Have discernment because, again, when you meet new people, it's a lesson now. When a person want to marry you, it's a lesson now. When a person trying to have a baby with you or a child with you, it's a lesson now. Children are karma. So that's why you get some good children, you get some toxic children some bad children you see what i'm saying no judgment here but you know that's the reality we live in everything is what you put out always come back to you okay and that's why it's my intention that i wake up every day to put out heart-based love energy because again who i am i'm a ascended master i am vibrating from the heart i ascended now now i'm coming back down in the same body to help the people and guide the people okay like i say sun can jump off no that was my destiny okay fortune in scorpio so i have regenerative powers i can heal myself so um yeah that's my goal now you have to figure out what your goal and what your value system is going forward but i do see a lot of deep connections coming up with some people that you really been waiting for okay spirit give us insight going forward for the future the future outcome for the people what's coming up in early 2021 spirit for the people what's coming up next week for the people spirit thank you give me insight oh there's a lot y'all what y'all going oh okay okay i'm hearing big timeline changes i got some completions and i got some people that still stagnant and trapped i got the i got the strength call okay this cancer full moon opposing the sun in capricorn squaring karen is really pushing you to better yourself better yourself in a way of being aware of your emotions being aware of your strengths your weaknesses and being okay with it okay being okay with what cards you have been dealt being okay with um what's in your reality and what's not in your reality being okay with okay if i want something i have to really push and work for it hard for it in this effed up world this effed up economy you know so it's really the cars are saying yeah we may be complete with certain levels and graduating from certain energies in our life okay the i always tell my clients the rabbit hole always go deeper it's more down the pipeline oh because just like i was saying to somebody uh yesterday i'm like okay i graduated this i did all this work this soul work you know like you know where's my reward in x y and z you know you see what i'm saying so it's like no matter how much work you do over the years the rabbit hole still runs deep it still goes deep it's more work to do we got the eight of pentacles a perfection is happening a perfection in what getting the self ready i don't see this one this the way this fell i don't see this as a bad call i see this as okay this person whoever the spirit is talking about they're trying to get their emotions together they're trying to get their senses together they're trying to work on themselves they're trying to get them together i don't have time for relationships so the future outcome is exit out toxic communication from people old friends old exes just old old people old old energies that have to go and hey i'm hearing you might have to block some people off the internet 
if this person on the computer and she blocking other, you might have to block some people off the internet. You might have to cut some ties with some people. Um, work with the energy of this right here, y'all. This is some selenite. You can work and meditate with selenite on your stomach. Uh, like you know, rub some good um charged up oil. Anoint your stomach with some oil. You know how the Bible says, anoint the forehead with oil. Anoint yourself with some oil on your stomach, your sacral area. Lay some selenite on top of that and meditate for a good hour with that sin on your stomach at night. To really cut cords, pray to Archangel Michael, see they were cutting, cutting cords. Um, cutting cords with toxic old energies, old people, old situations, old places. Like really get your prayer list out. Get you an angel candle or archangel candle, a seven angel candle. I sell them in my shop if you need to come and uh, get some. Uh, you know, I'll take care of you when you come see me. And uh, plus, we could talk more and I can give you more insight about um, things you could do to better your journey going into 2021. This is some powerful energy. Some still stagnant energy. So, like I say, the timelines are changing, and this Cancer full moon is really solidifying. I know myself. You can't control me. I am going to do what I want to do. I have the confidence. I have the beauty inside and out. I know myself. I love my flaws. I love all of me. And you cannot change me. I only I can change myself when the time is right. I am on a, a journey. I cannot rush this journey. I have to love myself at this moment in time. When the time comes for me to evolve or change my energy with this death card, I will do it when that time comes. You cannot force me to change. When it's time for me to open up for a relationship, I will open up. Here you go. To a source, I will open up for a relationship. But until then, I will continue to do what? Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Keep working on myself. Keep working on my dreams. Keep working on my business. And keep working on my good karma. The universe is always watching. So I'm going to bring it up to you. got this world card. The universe is always watching. It's time for you to become aware of that. You are always being watched. That's why I preach to my clients and my uh, customers about shielding, shielding, shielding. You are always being watched. Like if you just lay in your bed or you just driving it in your car and a person's name went across your mind or you're constantly having dreams about a person, that person is pulling your energy for one. Or two, you know, your higher self is trying to get you a message. It's just like different things. A lot of again, your higher self watching you, even though it's your higher self, but you just a lot of things are watching you. Entities, beings, you know. Just picture this. Just think about this. The grass grow on this planet. The grass grow. The planet is alive. Just like your hair grow, the planet grass grows. The planet is alive. You are on a living being. Really let that sink in. You are on a living being. You are being watched. Okay? For the good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, you are being watched. That's why I preach shield, shield, shielding magic, working with crystals, because it's layers, it's like an onion. Just anything was like an onion. If you won't do shielding work, yeah, candles is fine. But if you're not taking spiritual baths, it's not gonna work. If you're not meditating with your crystals to get your energy right, it's not gonna work. Yeah, some say the food you eat, that's to a certain degree. You know, I'm a big guy, and all my people know, you know, I'm a big guy, so I'm here, like I ascended to heaven and being reborn in this body. The food, it, it plays, the food is the last part. Like working with the crystals, spiritual baths, um, working out, uh, just doing your soul work, doing work on your soul. Um, the main thing is really meditating, working with your crystals, because um, they really help with me and exercising and drinking protein shakes. They really help when I started my journey. But again, it's a period. So like you say, I say I was just doing that for like six months to a year, working out uh, after I stopped dancing. So fall, yeah, you say all 17, half of 18, I was working, died and, and all that. And throughout the whole time, I didn't know my higher self was prepping me for my ascension in uh, summer 18. Didn't know I was getting prepared for this. So now I'm at the point I don't have to do that. 
like strict diet anymore. I could do a more relaxed chill because I did the work of that time zone, that time period to ascend. I ascend it. Now I get to relax and chill and reap the benefits and reward of the ascension journey. Okay, it's all about, you know, not putting yourself in a box. You know, yeah, find what works for you. Again, counts to deal with nurturing, how you nurture yourself, how you take care of yourself, Capricorn, how you take care of others. So it's all about a balance of the caretaker energy, the nurturing energy, how you're nurturing your body, what regimen or plan you have to nurture your body. Do you understand or know your body? Uranus and Taurus is waking up the body. Taurus deal with the body. Aries, yeah, deal with the body, but Taurus deal with like the physicality, the body, okay? The hardness, the earth, things you could touch. So are you taking care of your body? Are you taking care of your emotional state? This full moon is really pushing us to really get comfortable and complete some things around again the divine feminine within and the divine masculine within and that nurturing energy of the cancer capricorn axis okay thank y'all for being here i appreciate y'all so much and um don't forget to like subscribe and share this channel let me get into the oracle core message of this video let's see i'm at 36 minutes that's not too bad okay and, um yeah let me know if you like the last video the last tarot reading uh, y'all let me know, you know, in the comments how everything going in y'all life. But, um, for the Oracle Core, I'm using the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. And I have gotten the Gaius Garden. Going back to the Earth Energy, okay? And Gaius Garden is talking about fruition, abundance, reaping what you sow. So, going back into that Moon Energy, the Full Moon Energy, reaping what you sow. This is the 18 card number and 18 reduced to nine so nine completion the oh energy of a uh, lesson learned moving on the um uh, was this nine is a spiritual number very powerful number nine is a very powerful number uh <clears throat> and i'm picking up from this guy's garden going back to the cancer energy what do you do to nurture yourself what do you have in your arsenal and your repertoire to take care of yourself? So say if you if you had got evicted or moved out your parents' home today or tomorrow, what would you grab? What would you put in your bag to take with you? Do you know your environment? This guy your car is saying, do you know the environment you're in? Being aware of your environment. Be aware of the people in your environment. Be aware of everything going around you. Being aware of the self. Some people don't like the self. Some people don't like to look in their 12th house in their closet of what they hide in. Or what's underneath that they don't want to see. And that is so toxic. So toxic. But hey, <clears throat> to each his own, it is what it is because it's like you do all the soul work. And you still around a lot of toxic people. So I guess that's the balance of the universe. You can't have one without the other. I get it. But God, people can be so toxic sometimes. But again, also, if you know astrology, you know that's the energy right now. It's like we're really trying to figure out the soul tribe thing. We're really trying to figure it out. But that's not going to really um, subdue until um, Uranus and Saturn get off each other, which is in 2020. <clears throat> um, 2022 so another year of trying to get things right with the group okay but thank y'all for tuning in y'all be blessed be safe out there and i love you from the bottom and top of my heart thank you for tuning in i hope you enjoyed my fire energy and be blessed